you guys how to make a hair bonnet and a scrunchie if this is something you are interested in definitely keep watching and don't forget to subscribe hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Choma stitches and my name is Choma so to make this scrunchie i'm using leftover fabrics as you can see and this is what i've used to trace out my pattern now i want this to have more fullness and so i didn't get the one that will cover all the circumference that i want i'm going to be increasing this okay so i'm going to add one inch all around i'm going to be adding one inch all around the circle um by the way this is on fold for the opening the center i'm going to be going with one inch around the, the center as you can see i marked the center i dotted it so that i can know where the center is i'm going to just go around with one inch as well Now I've gone around this one inch and it is not wide enough for what I want, okay? Since I am moving the circumference of the circle forward, I, I, should, I can still increase this. So I'm just going to go in again by say 0.75 inches. So I'm going to cut here and cut here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run a stitch here. I will sew at 0.25 inches, very close to this opening. And then I'm going to turn it the other way around. Okay, so I've gone ahead to sew it. As you can see, I sewed it very close to the line. But then I realized this opening will not be enough. It will not have the kind of effect that I expect, that I want. So I have to go up again by sewing half an inch on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it close to this half an inch. Okay, so I cut out this part so that it will have a wider opening and I like this one better. So if you have more fabric, you can increase the circumference so that you have the width and the gather that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and make cuts. So now I'm going to open this place and iron it. Okay, okay so I ironed it after I took it. So I'm going to go ahead and sew here. Now this is more defined. This is the right side, okay? Is more defined so next i'm going to be sewing round so the plan is i'm going to fold this place like this and i'm going to start sewing okay folding this place in here like this so i'm going to start sewing like this when you sew you bring it out okay so i want i want the sewing to be inside so i'm taking this part and i'm putting it inside and i'm going to start sewing it all around So look at this look at this so i still have more openings to sew and what i'm going to do the part that is remaining i'm just going to pass it in like this and i'll continue sewing i'll just start from where i stopped and i'll continue sewing So leaving this opening here, I'm going to bring out everything that I have sewn from this opening. You can iron it if you want, but it shouldn't be. I don't think I want to iron it because I want it to have this poofiness. And ironing flattens it. I don't want it to be flat. Okay, so this is what I have. You can see this. Now next, I'm going to be passing my elastic. So this opening, I'm going to conceal it by substituting it. So that's secured now i don't want this to be too much okay so i don't need uh, okay this is okay let's see okay this is enough uh, because the more elastic you add, add to this the loose it more loose is going to be but i'm going to top stitch it here when i'm done so i'm cutting out just a little bit from here okay, the length i have is um almost 18 7.5 inches okay i have like seven you can have so what i have here at the end of this like seven in 7.2 inches 7.3 inches i'm going to pass my safety pin in it and then i'm going to use it to pass it into the scrunchie Ok, 
okay so when you move this that's gone inside look at that beautiful scrunchy you can do this with any fabric i'm doing ankara because i have a dress with this fabric so it would be nice to have it a matching scrunchy for it i'm going to go ahead and top stitch the opening that here we passed the elastic So here it is. I've gone ahead to top stitch it as you can see, and I have a scrunchie. The more fabric you add at the circumference of the circle, the more of this scrunchie you are going to get. Okay, this is what I have. So next, I am going to be making the bonnet. I am working with leftover fabrics. Okay, so I'm going to fold it into four because I'm making a complete circle. make 10 inches all around and I'm going to go ahead and cut it I want to make a two-sided bonnet so you can use this the, this side or either side of it is going to be very neat and you can use it as the front okay it's going to be double-sided and this is the elastic I'm working with it's an extractive fabric this is the stretchiest part and I had to cut it um, for the width I have 5.8 inches and for the length I, I want to cut uh, I'm, I'm using a 19.5 inches I'm going to be cutting out this place this 19.5 inches is including the one inch sewing allowance okay which means it will, it will arrive at 18.5 inches and if you're going to wear this all night it shouldn't be too tight on your head to avoid uh, stopping blood flow okay I want to use this other fabric for the other side of the bonnet so that it will be two sides and each side can work whatever you want to work with it okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut this round so it's going to be like this now i'm going to be where you know where the center of this one is i'm just going to make a notch on this other side okay here too and I'm going to make a notch here too at this other end at the four sides so that, that it will help me when I'm joining it to the elastic I'm going to go ahead and join this one I'm going to be joining it with half of an inch so here I've gone ahead to join it so I'm going to turn it to the right side okay and like I marked on this side on the fabric, I'm going to be marking this place all the sides. Okay, I'm going to mark all the sides. Now these markings on the elastic band, I'm going to be matching it to the fabric. And by the way, I'm using a door face fabric for this, both for the front and the back. You can use any fabric, any silk fabric of your choice to come out nice and to be good for your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and match these markings together and then start sewing it. After pinning the four strategic points together, I'm going to go ahead and start dragging the elastic band as I'm sewing it. And note that any part of the fabric that does not uh, match the elastic band, I'm going to pleat it because it's going to be excess. It's obviously bigger than the elastic band, okay? So I'm going to pleat the excess and to give us this nice gather. what I have after stretching it out and sewing it look at this so we have one beautiful part I'm going to put it back inside and then we sew the other one so I'm folding this in like this now this other part as you can see I've made an opening I've loosened a part of the one I joined this is where I'm going to be turning everything inside out so I am going to attach this one the places where I pinned them together, I'm going to go ahead and repin this one again the same way.
Now I'm going to start sewing again as well, the same way. So this is it. Now with this method, everything is going to be concealed inside and we'll be turning it, turning it inside out through this opening I left for this black one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sew it all around and then show us how it looks. So I'm done. I'm going to open it up from here, turn it inside out from here. And this is what we have. It's now so clean from the outside and the inside. So you have double sides. You can choose to wear either side of it. You can choose any side of it to wear. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close up this opening where I turn it inside out. So I'm just going to top stitch here. Thank you for watching to the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If it's something you'll be trying, let me know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new tutorial. See you guys in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.